Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna show you all the details of the new MG HS. This is the new generation model. We have it here for a test and you may saw some videos with the MG HS from the Creation Premiere recently. And today I will show you all the details. I also have the price list here inside the car. We have the specifications that are available. So I will show you uh, what and how you can configure the car. And uh, yeah, of course, we will focus on this particular model that we have here, which has the luxury trim. And uh, yeah, well, let's start with the design. Now on the front, you can see the all new face. This is the new generation model and it's got the new MG design language. Look at this grill. I mean, this is so nice, very dominant looking, muscular appearance on the road and uh, definitely easily recognizable as an MG. This is again, the new MG design language. Then here we have the badge, the lovely shape of the bonnet. Look at this. And then here you can see the beautiful LEDs, love the lighting signature. And then here you see the fog lights. Now, again, from this angle, I think it looks so good. I love this spec, the black color. I think it suits the car very well, but other colors are available. I will show you uh, which they are here in Croatia. And uh, yeah, now from the side, the car is longer than the predecessor, 45 millimeters longer. And the length of this petrol version is four meters, 65.5 centimeters. And then the upcoming plug-in hybrid will be even a bit longer, four meters, 67 centimeters. And let me show you the wheels. So here we have the 19 inch ones and uh, the dimension of the tires is here 225, 55, are 19 very pronounced wheel arches and also here you see some lovely design elements and i also love uh, the uh, indicators here on the wing mirrors and the wing mirrors themselves they have the cameras here on both sides and of course front and at the rear as well so you will see the 360 view as well this is how it looks from the side tinted windows luxury trim which looks so good and has some really nice equipment and a nice technology now moving on here to the rear look at this look at the tail lights and uh, the car locks itself when you go away and then look at this here the x shape i'm a huge fan of this detail and also of the connected daylight design i think it suits the car so well here you see a very sporty design for the bumper as well the lower section this sort of like a diffuser and then here the exhaust pipes but these are the fake ones so here just for the decoration and tell me in the comments what are your thoughts i would love to see the real ones i think these actually look very good but it would be even better if they are the real ones hs lettering in here and then the mg badge as well as the very pronounced roof spoiler look at this and the design of the c pillar is also very interesting very distinctive look on the road and now we can open the tailgate let me unlock the car and let me show you uh, one of the ways to do it is by pressing the button here on the key so let's do it there we go and here we are greeted with even more room compared to the predecessor so 44 liters more and to a maximum of 507 liters in this new generation model you also have this cover from mg and then here you have some tools as you can see and uh, on the left and on the right you have these sections where you can put some smaller elements uh, so that they don't go all around the car uh, since the net is protecting that now you can pull this cover in order to have the privacy for your things and uh, let me now also show you the meter that i have today all right so now with the meter as well look at this uh, so 120 two and still some room left so as you can see 122 centimeters is here and then additional few centimeters over there and uh, let me show you here so from the rear seat okay so from there to here around 92 centimeters uh, of uh, space 
and then on previous videos someone asked me if I could measure this uh, so as you can see uh, the front seat is now pulled forward and look at this over two meters uh, we have here so yeah here is your answer and then here you see around 46 let me just zoom in 46 and a half uh, centimeters from down there to this section and let me insert also this so uh, from this section here so I'm not gonna count this now we go from here up to here look at this hundred and two centimeters something like that I think a lot of you will also want to know about this measurement here so yeah just a bit over 102 centimeters and overall yeah again really impressive dimensions here a uh, lot of room very practical car indeed and pulling down the seats is very easy so you see you have this and uh, the seat belt stays here so you don't need to worry about it and now you see the front seat is moved forward uh, because uh, again uh, there was a question about this so I wanted to measure it and well now we are ready uh, to check out the interior let me close the tailgate and enter the car again such a lovely design eye-catching on the road distinctive elements such as those lighting signatures the sip pillar uh, the front lights the grill so overall very nice styling now let's enter here and let me show you the details so we have the lights turned on let me uh, switch them off now so the materials they're so good look at the pattern here then look at this look how nice this feels and looks we have the tan interior on this one uh, so the standard would be black and then this is an optional thing uh, I think it looks gorgeous and let me actually just move the seat back to the normal position and we can also I can show you actually then the uh, settings here so this is how you do it and then this seat can go forward backwards and you can adjust the incline and for the driver's side you can also adjust the height as well Uh, the door pocket is really big and uh, here you have the switches for the windows and the mirrors lock and unlock buttons and here you see you can adjust uh, the height as well and you have the lumbar support as well this is the layout in front of the driver so let me actually show you how it looks from driver's perspective all right this is it let me start the car by pressing the start button here and uh, this is your view as a driver 12.3 inch digital cockpit in front of you 12.3 inch main touchscreen with the new infotainment system here in the middle uh, also again lovely layout of the dashboard and this stand interior i think uh, it really looks so good and i love the combination with the dark exterior color and then tan interior i think it really suits this model now below the screen you do have some physical buttons including the button for the hazard lights you can turn on or off uh, the AC in here and then uh, you can go to the home menu by pressing the physical button here and uh, yeah those are the buttons and below them you have the air vents we have also seen some uh, car fragrance which is actually very nice here USB ports and you also have this adapter here for the USB-C 12 volt power supply the cup holders that are adjustable this is the gear selector for the DCT automatic transmission this car is available so this petrol version either with uh, the manual 6-speed manual or the 7-speed DCT and uh, here you have the electronic parking brake the auto hold and uh, this is the heel descent control so now i've turned it on or off uh, you can do it here by just pressing the button here let me show you the key 
so the standard MG key and here in the middle the storage compartment and again lovely uh, details here great materials and love the stitching here and the then details throughout the interior and this is what I was talking about at the start of the video now I have the price list and also the configurator is live on the MG site so I also configured some models before this review and uh, I will now show you uh, the details and the options so let's start here with the price list comfort with the manual here is the price 31,490 euros and then you can go for the comfort trim with the DCT luxury trim with manual or luxury trim with DCT this is the uh, configuration that we have here uh, of the model in our video 36,490 euros and you see this is all the uh, PPMV which is the special CO2 tax uh, for this model here in Croatia so it's the Croatian uh, tax you have the extra tax for the CO2 emissions here in Croatia speaking about the colors these are the options uh, here on the market Arctic blue will be uh, the one that will be free of charge which means uh, it could be popular here in Croatia I didn't see it yet in person on the new MGHS so I'm um, looking forward to seeing this one I saw the white one I also saw the sterling silver and the Hampstead gray at uh, this uh, and the black one so here is the pebble black uh, those two are I think my favorite ones I didn't see the diamond red yet as well so um, yet to see those two but I can tell you that probably those two would be my favorites and then again you have the black interior or you can go for the tan one that we have here which is again something that would be my choice and also I can show you the technical details uh, here is uh, the list of things that you have if you want if you're from Croatia you can uh, pause the video here to see all the details glove compartment decent amount of room in here and now uh, let's check out the infotainment system and let's immediately start with this actually so the fog lights which can be turned on here and you can also do it in the menu as well but this is the easy way to do it the AC controls are here so you can figure the air blower and then here is for the temperature you can sync it or not there we go and if we press this this is the home menu and then when you swipe it to the right you have all the things in here uh, so now I will go through the details let's start here with the navigation and I love the 3d view of the buildings so uh, the point of view drive with this car is something that is really impressive and you can watch it on my channel as well and uh, yeah so let me show you this look at the 3d view of the buildings this looks so nice and again during the night drive for example this is cool and now let's go back so let's go here climate I already showed you that then the music there we go please connect the phone and uh, you can also have the USB music and then radio you have the list of stations in here the favorites and then you can search it like this as well and uh, video insert USB flash disk 360 now the cameras so look at this you also have the wide angle view for the front and rear and here look at the sides very convenient very uh, useful when you are maneuvering through tight parking spots and then when you start driving the car becomes transparent so this can also be very helpful uh, when you are on tight parking spot or something like that um, so yeah those are 
uh, the settings here for the 360 surround view and then also look at this you can uh, have the rudder wave character line vehicle transparency so you can turn that off as well and also you can have the automatic activation let's go back apple carplay and android auto for connecting your phone and i think that will be very popular as well so uh, there's a nice big layout here of apple carplay and android auto vehicle settings are here so now let me show you this you can adjust three options for the steering comfort normal and the sport one you can deactivate the start stop in here towing mode can also be activated here then convenience driver position memory you have three options here easy entry and exit you can activate it here and then front fog lamp and the rear fog lamps you can activate them here or you can do it uh, here as well uh, whatever you prefer welcome headlights you can turn that on or off follow me home and find my car response off flashing or flashing plus horn automatic main beam auto unlock with engine off uh, and then uh, the unlock for the door using the key and then the tailgate so you can open it here as well from the driver's uh, seat or the passenger's seat and press it again to close it and you have three options for the opening height meters out of fold and uh, tilt of meters as well and now the custom buttons they can be used as shortcuts for various things so you have two of them one is here on the left and one is on the right and for example if i press this you can see they can be used for vehicle settings 360 or src so the source and now we have this one set to 360 so let's check it out press this and we go into the 360 view that i showed you and that is really convenient and the other one is currently set for the vehicle settings we are now in the vehicle settings so if we go here we can set it to src for example so now when i press this i can choose between online music and radio so yeah that is pretty pretty cool and convenient so those are the custom buttons and now we go to mg pilot and we have some leaves falling anyway uh here we have driving assist as you can see here the intelligent cruise assist on the basis of acc control the vehicle to drive in the lane when using this function the driver needs to hold the steering wheel monitor the surrounding environment and take over the vehicle at any time so you can configure this out here S speed limit recognition and the speed warning so these are mandatory by law in all new cars in europe so you will have it on every time you turn on the car and then you can turn it off if you don't want the beeping sound as soon as you go a bit over the speed limit now front collision assist lane departure assist and also here we have the rear driving assist including the rear cross traffic assist a door opening warning rear collision warning so bunch of driver assist and safety systems in this car including the driver fatigue monitoring and driver distraction monitoring and uh, you see here you have also the explanations for those and you have this system here uh, to check you those were the MG pilot settings now we go to cluster settings and this is very cool because here you have three different instrument teams here is the map team which is uh, to be honest my favorite then the speed team is here there we go and also you have the intelligent drive of course more details will be here when you start driving and the car starts to see the lanes and uh, the traffic around you and then there's also the option to turn on the instrument immersion mode so when it's activated the instrument display will only show key vehicle information that is how we have it now but if we do this 
Now you have also some details on the sides. As you can see here. And then you can also choose what you want to see in the instrument uh, center display. Here is the status of the vehicle. And uh, that's pretty much it when we talk about the vehicle settings. Now, if we go to the system settings here, you have the brightness of the screen and then brightness linkage. So uh, they are linked now. So look at this. When I change the brightness of one panel, the other one uh, follows. So uh, I think that's convenient. Then here, language, format, and the units, uh, show clock when screen is off. Okay, that is cool. I think now we covered most of the things here within the infotainment system. And uh, yeah, I want to hear your thoughts. How do you like the system itself? I think it's very nice and very easy to use. And also it has nice layout and nice graphics. Now I can also show you the sun visors, there we go, and here for the passenger, we have the lights here, and I love this uh, mirror, the rear view mirror, love the design of it. The wheelbase has been increased compared to the predecessor, and you will see now, just when I uh, open this door, just how much space there is here at the back look at the beautiful details beautiful materials also here in the upper section as well and then the lovely pattern like the one on the front also decent amount of room here in the door pocket and now let's jump here so look at this the amount of room that i have this is so impressive because the rear seat the front seat actually is adjusted to my driving position and that means that I have huge amount of room even though uh, I adjusted the seat for me. And here we have the lights on both sides. So let's turn them on. And the air vents can be controlled here. You also see the USB ports. So you also have this adapter. Uh, just like on the front. The storage room in here and in the middle the armrest with the cup holders. So really such a practical car and i can enjoy here and sit here and enjoy for hours now let me show you how much space i have for my head all right then one meter 87 and look at the amount of room that i still have huge thumb up from me again one meter 87 and this is how it looks at the rear Time to talk about the powertrain. So this car has got the 1.5 liter petrol unit. It is the four cylinder turbocharged petrol one with 169 horsepower, so 170 PS. And uh, yeah, you can pair it with either the six speed manual or the seven speed dual clutch automatic transmission. So the seven speed DCT. Tell me in the comments, what would be your choice? And of course, stay tuned as the plug-in hybrid version is also coming. The video will be on my channel when the car comes to the market. So stay tuned for that. And uh, yeah, tell me in the comments, how do you like the car? And now something that a lot of you actually uh, asked me about are the ambient lights. Now I'm a huge fan of ambient lights, but on this car, we don't have the ambient lights. So as I understood, they are not available for the new MG HS, even though there were some really nice ambient lights in the predecessor. So I would love to see them. Tell me in the comments, what are your thoughts on that? And uh, would you like to see the ambient lights in this car or do you prefer it without ambient lights? And the additional thing that a lot of you asked about is the sunroof, which was here on the predecessor, uh, but uh, this luxury trim does not include it and it's not available for this new one and uh, for me i don't like the sunroof that much so uh, i don't think it makes any difference i prefer it without i would not uh, even want one uh, so i don't know tell me in the comments what are your thoughts but maybe some of you like that so yeah it is not available in this model and now another walk around this time with the lights turned on the fog lights turned on as you can see and the indicators turned on as well. 
and now from the rear there we go That's it guys, thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you liked this detailed review. Tell me in the comments how do you like the car and see you on the next one. Bye bye.